Namaskar. I'm Suruchi Das and you're watching Pratham News. As the world faces the growing menace of terrorism, it's shocking to see powerful nations like the US and Canada selectively wield the term when it suits their agenda. While both the countries proudly celebrated the eliminations of global terrorists like Osama bin Laden and Qasem Soleimani, their approach suddenly shifts when the target is someone threatening India. The recent accusations against India and the killing of Hardeep Singh Nijjal exemplifies this dangerous double standard. Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau was quick to claim India's involvement in Nijjal's death, yet openly admitted he lacked solid evidence. Despite this, the US joined Canada in its unsubstantiated accusations against India. The hypocrisy becomes glaring when we take into account Nijjar's identity as an extremist with a history of anti-India activities. It's worth asking why the US and Canada are willing to stand by a figure with such a background while ignoring India's legitimate concerns over terrorism. This isn't the first time India has found itself battling not just terrorists but the indifference of nations harboring these extremists. For years, India has expressed its frustration over the US and Canada providing safe havens to anti-India elements. The Indian government has consistently requested the extradition of wanted terrorists and criminals who operate from these countries. But such pleas have often fallen on deaf ears. Even as India exposes the network of criminals sheltering abroad, including notorious figures like Goldie Brad and Lucky Patyal, who are involved in range of heinous crimes from extortion to murder, both the US and Canada remain silent. It's not just about one individual or one incident. Hardeep Singh Nijjar's case is part of a larger pattern of complicity. Canada for domestic political gain has been turning a blind eye to the activities of pro-Sikh separatists, while the US stance seems driven by strategic interests rather than a genuine commitment to fight terrorism. Both countries have been repeatedly warned by India about the dangerous game they are playing by harboring these criminals. Yet, instead of addressing the issue, they choose to criticize India, a country fighting to protect its sovereignty. Adding to this are individuals like Satinder Jit Singh, alias Goldie Brown, hiding in the US, linked to the murder of Sidhu Musewala and Anmol Bishnoi, known for plotting to target Indian celebrities. These criminals are not just fugitives but active threats to India's national security. Their continued shelter by Western countries only emboldens them and their operations. This selective outrage by the US and Canada is not only disappointing but dangerous. Their stance sends a message that terrorism is acceptable as long as it doesn't threaten their immediate interests. But terrorism knows no boundaries and today's negligence may lead to tomorrow's crisis. If nations like the US and Canada are serious about fighting terrorism, they must stop playing politics with the issue. Harboring terrorists while pointing fingers at nations trying to defend themselves is not only hypocritical but detrimental to global security. Jai Hind.